Tom Willow, good to see you. Hey, glad you turned up. Just got um, old Stinky back from the MOT. Yeah, lights, wipers, marvellous. Tyres, mm. uh, but the real problem is a broken front spring. I think we can say, without any shadow of a doubt, that that's hanging by a thread. It shouldn't be like that. Yeah, okay, so that's that then. But everything's good apart from that. Um, right. I'm going to get a second hand spring and fit it. Now, if you're wondering why would on earth would you put a second hand spring on a car, give, it, give me a minute and I'll explain. Things have to be done in pairs on the suspension. It's best if it's done in pairs. Change the one front spring, you need to change the other front spring. Change the shock absorber, you need to change the other shock absorber. So, put a new spring on the front now. Um, I'm going to have to change the other spring. Then, of course, because the new springs, old shock absorbers, they'll soon rip them up. So then you're going to have to put two new shock, new, two new shock absorbers on, which of course are struts. So you've got two struts and two springs. Then it's going to sit high at the front, not at the back. So you think, oh, I'll just put some new springs on the back. Then put two new springs on the back. Of course, you've got to change the shock absorber because you don't want them tearing up. So, there you go. You've had an MOT failure for one spring. You've had to buy three more. Four shock absorbers. Okay. Something about that, Mike. So, get a second hand one, which is hopefully the same age, same temper. Pop it straight on. Jobs are good. And that's my thinking. So, you've got two old springs, two old shock absorbers. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, I shall hopefully try and, try and get one from a scrapyard or probably off of eBay. And then we can play with spring compressors and take strut tops off and all, all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, talk about dicing with death. Anyway, you know, that's it then. So, old sink is all good, apart from his front near side spring. Which, now I've looked at it, <laughs> it's horrifying, isn't it? I've just been blasting around roads, giving it, giving it, getting it warmed up. Yeah, if you go for an MOT, get it warmed up first. It says them doing it, and then you can get on with the test quicker. Right then, so that's that. So, um, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, we're all looking forward to the next next event, aren't we? Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't get lost or squashed. Thanks for your comments. Stay safe, stay warm, and uh, I'll see you in a bit.